racing judge, what is the first thing you would change about harness racing? Actually, I think the judging's pretty good right now in Ontario. I don't have a lot of complaints. Uh, maybe just get the inquiries over quicker. I'd, ma I'd, make the, um, I'd make the races go off when the post time says zero. Probably the fair start pole. I'd get rid of that. I think it's a joke. Maybe a re retention barn for the two-year-olds. It's a little bit tough, I'd say. I'd like to see maybe, maybe uh, Lasix taken out or stricter on the drug rules that they are doing. But uh, other than that, I, I don't have anything off the top of my head right now. I um, don't like the slow halves. Um, that's, you, you know, favorite goes to the front and backs a half down. Nobody's going to pull. I don't like that. I think he should drive right on. Slow second quarters. I think that uh, they're racing here. If they can't go 29 or better, the, the, the good races, 30 better, the cheap seconds are better, the cheaper races, well, then I think it should be fine. I think horses have been a view uh, like over race, you know. Uh, going down the quarter too fast, they're going down the half too fast. You know, I would, uh, I would call a few, a few guys in and slow them down a little bit. Definitely the way the, the drivers are, are driving. Like I said, the Meadowlands style, I absolutely love it. And uh, I, would, I would just keep going forward with what Jeff Growl's doing right now and making, making everybody race and no holes and race, uh, race like we're supposed to. I would get off the pity stuff and, uh, and, and uh, think about the things that matter the most making a race looking competitive and making a, a race looking good. Um, foot out of the stirrup and things like that is not going to make our business better. But creating an out of flow and uh, no riding in and out and no given holes and to make the racing like it is at the Meadowlands. I know it's different surface, but when the Meadowlands driver come here, the racing does change. Right now I would change the rule about um, not being able to give holes. I think it's really ruined the racing or hurt the racing around here. Um, I think part of the strategy of uh, being a driver is being able to pick who you want to follow and uh, position yourself in a race and I think lately they've taken that aspect out of the game. Um, it's, it's not fair when you have an opportunity to let the favorite in front of you or let a horse that you'd like to follow in front of you and the judges give you a fine for doing that, thinking that you're not trying, but really it's, it's a strategy that could lead to a, a better performance or a win. Um, some of these rules with drivers uh, not giving holes and this, this, this stuff that, that really, um, they're taking away some of the strategy in racing and, and I think they worry about the wrong things and uh, that's my biggest pet peeve is drivers worried about post parades and, and whether a guy gives a hole or opens up, a, you know, bears out the stretch. Th those things that, 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 you know, they're not, they're basically a strategy most of the time and, and I, I'm frustrated that driver, the judges don't pay attention to some of the other things like slow quarters and, and those things that really mess up a race. They're, I find them the most frustrating. I would immediately change those. The middle ends I find uh, the example of what I'd like to change is horses coming out underneath each other at the head of the stretch. Whereas you do that on the back side, you're taken down. So I think that is uh, something needs to be corrected. Uh, that's the first thing off the top of my head. If I was to step up, I would, I would concentrate more on horses that are getting interfered with or drivers that are pulling out of the hole and going nowhere. Those would be the infractions that I would really judge as a, as a judge. The way they pull out at Woodbine up the back stretch and never go anywhere, that drives me nuts. I think there's a lot of times that drivers give guys holes on a regular basis and maybe you'd have to tighten that up a little bit. And, uh, you know, this new whipping rule they've got, you know, if you're going to have a whipping rule, let's have everybody adhere to it because there's one guy that are just slashing just as hard with one hand of the hand hold, and that's dangerous. So if they're going to be serious about having this whipping rule, which I totally don't agree with, but if they're going to be serious about it, I'd... Uh, I'd uh, clamp down these guys are whipping with one hand and causing a lot of wrecks to those same people. I think right here in Ontario I would like to see them enforce the whipping rule a little better. Uh, they're just Sometimes they just get a little bit carried away and I think if they just enforce it just a little bit more it'd be a lot, uh, it'd be a lot more fair for everybody. I would say the, um, the whipping rule, I would say let us, you know, tap a horse like 
probably three times from the head of the stretch zone, and then after that, it's if a guy's caught um, whipping a horse, it's a hundred dollars for every time after. The whipping rule. How so? Let us drive these horses. You know, you could monitor it, but let us put lines in one hand and let them, you know, drive them like everywhere else in North America does. I don't know. <clears throat> it's tough for me to say that, but uh, like they should be a little lighter than the fines. You know, like guys like me trying to win. Uh, I try to win every race I'm in. What most guys are supposed to do, and you know, down the states, uh, like that's what they're wanting to do. They're trying to get you to do everything they can to win, and that's what I want to do. That's what the better wants to see when he's got hundred dollars or thousand dollars down the win. Like I'm not saying beating on them, but uh, definitely I, I let up on the whipping and the, and the kick, dropping the feet. At, definitely at Woodbine, where they bet a million, two million dollars a night. So it probably have to be. Um the inconsistencies in, in in calling in the races in the first place. Uh, try to make just have some more consistency in the rules and, and uh, adhere to them. Uh, I don't know if I'd change any too many rules. I just want to keep uh, all the rules rules more consistent um, uh, everywhere you race and all the Jared Jackson's. I'd say that'd be it.